Session 7 writing task is to write a letter to Dr. Jenny Hennessy, a psychiatrist at outpatient clinic in Newton Hospital. Sorry, Newtown Hospital. Here, you are a registered nurse working in the emergency department and a patient, Ms. Carolyn Ayuso, has been admitted to your department as she had ingested 20 tablets of paracetamol along with a bottle of wine, probably a deliberate self-harm attempt. Once she is admitted to the hospital, she was conservatively managed with the medication and she became stable but she is a bit drowsy because the dosage of the paracetamol is still in her body. The reason why you are writing this letter is because she shows lack of interest towards her life. So to rule out the reason behind her disinterest towards her life, especially since she doesn't have any history of mental illness, you are referring this patient to Dr. Jenny Hennessy, who is a psychiatrist. Let us look into the case note first. If we look into the case note in detail, we can see there are two dates given. That is the admission date and the discharge date. Here, the admission date is irrelevant and not to be mentioned in the letter. But you have to mention the discharge date in the introduction paragraph of the letter. The date of the letter will be today's calendar date unless today's date is specifically given in the case note. Because it is essential to know when the surveys should be provided. The name, age and marital status are important where the name and age should be mentioned in the reference. Since the case note says she shows no interest in life, the social history is very relevant and we must not avoid her medical history, especially mental illness because it says she has no history of mental illness. In the present medical history and the nursing management, you can merge into one single paragraph while writing the letter along with her current condition which means the progress she made after the admission. You have to focus more on the social background and the request to the psychiatrist for an assessment to rule out her reason behind her disinterest towards life. Taking all these points, we have to prepare a letter in an organized manner. Now, let us see how we can write a letter with the help of a sample letter written by a candidate from India. The address, date and salutation are written correctly. Moving to the reference, the writer could have written it better. While writing reference, we don't have to write the word aged. Instead, we can simply say 25 years. Also, the candidates have used the word year, which is wrong, and instead should use years. So we can write RE, then place a colon and write Miss Carolyn Ayuso, 25 years. This is the correct way to write a reference. Moving to the introduction paragraph, it says I am. I am doesn't imply anything. In fact, it's a mistake. Either you have to write I am or I apostrophe then am. Then that makes sense. Otherwise, it's pointless. The usage of four is wrong in admitted for the consumption and should be replaced by the word following. From this introduction, it's not clear what kind of support the patient needs and why this patient is being referred to the psychiatrist. And the introduction fails pathetically to provide those information. The introduction could have been much better if it was like, I am writing to request a psychological assessment and management for Ms. Carolyn Ayuso who was admitted following a self-harm attempt. She is progressing and will be discharged on 2nd December 2018. But she shows lack of interest towards her life. Moving to the second paragraph, the paragraph starts with during admission which is not necessary and you can avoid it. Hence the paragraph reads, Miss Ayoso was presented with slurred speech, headache and diaphoresis. She looked drowsy and pale due to continuous vomiting. Her blood test showed high concentration of paracetamol for which she was given immediate antidote, sorry, antidote N acetylcysteine in normal saline. Later, her vomit subsided and was able to tolerate soft diet and oral liquids. GCS was normal and all the investigation and medication details are listed for the reference. Here, the first sentence can be extended by adding following the ingestion of 20 tablets of paracetamol along with a bottle of wine and the word looked in the second sentence can be replaced with seemed which seems more appropriate.
Moving to the third paragraph, Miss Ayuso is unmarried and lives along with her mother, where the word along can be avoided and simply write Miss Ayuso is unmarried and lives with her mother. Coming to the next part of the paragraph, she works as an accountant. She has no any history of mental illness, medical or any drug related issues. She shows disinterest in her life, where the paragraph is not properly organized. The last sentence that is, she shows disinterest in her life should be highlighted and at the same time you have to conglomerate all this piece of information in a much impressive way. Here, the first two sentences can be merged and can be written as Miss Ayesu, comma, an unmarried lady, lives with her mother and works as an accountant. Then the third sentence should be written as she has no any prior history of mental illness medical or any drug related issues here you have to use the word prior in front of the history because she already has a medical history and if you want to make this information distinct you have to use this word the last sentence should be used either in the introduction paragraph or in the second paragraph because that is the main reason behind this letter and that deserves a better place because it has the highest priority then it is written it would be greatly appreciated if you could assess her and provide necessary care as needed, which is all right. Coming to the wind up sentence, you can merge the sentence with the previous sentence and make it a small, simple paragraph. Also, you have to mention the name of the patient along with the sentence. Then it becomes, please contact me if you have any queries regarding Miss Caroline. The sign of yours sincerely, which is wrong because the writer used your instead of yours. It should be yours sincerely. Registered nurse is written perfectly. Because of the lack of organization, improper use of preposition, a very pathetic introduction, and the excessive use of simple sentences, this letter falls somewhere around 280. Thank you. New method for OET learning. How are you preparing? Online or offline? For speaking and writing, you can get tutor reviews. How will you be able to manage your reading and listening? How can you manage your self-practice easier than never before? Learn OET in Merlin's Way, most successful OET learning method from world's best online trainer. Chat now, mentormerlinexam.com.